Hi, and welcome to this next tutorial on how to use the TF32 um, acoustic analysis software for uh, an analyzing speech signals. This particular topic we're going to be covering, the topic we're going to be covering in this particular video is how to display information about amplitude spectra and spectrum envelopes uh, and how to change those settings. <clears throat> so, um, we have a signal loaded here, and as I said um, in the past, that the default setting when you load a signal up is to have a um, sound pressure waveform display at the top and a wideband spectrogram at the bottom. Uh, this is a sample that um, I've used in the past. I'll just play it for you so that you know what the sentence is. She had your dark suit and greasy wash water all year. So it's a sentence that has a fair bit of phonetic diversity and lots of different um, types of speech sounds. So um, in order to take a look and view um, a amplitude spectrum, or a, what we call the spectrum window in TF32, you have to go to View, Open. And there is a, an option here called Spec. If you select that, we now have a new window added uh, panel at the bottom. Again, on the top, we have the sound pressure waveform. Uh, in the middle, we have the wideband spectrogram. And now on the bottom, we have a, um, a, uh, a spectral display that's going to be uh, providing information about what the short-term spectrum is around um, the left cursor that you're going to be applying or using to identify sections of speech. So right now this is associated with the very beginning. Now if you watch I'll click a cursor and you now see that we now have the uh, this is the amplitude spectrum um, based upon the um, FFT of the signal at that particular moment and you can see as I drag this around the spectrum is changing in its features as we're sliding our way through the speech sample. So very easy to uh, select an area of interest, for example, maybe right here in the middle of the fricative. Um, this is the fricative, uh, this is S in the word suit. And you can see this is the um, uh, FFT um, spectrum right around that um, window around that uh, left cursor mark. Now, uh, if you go over to the right-hand side here of the spectrum display, there are some different options here. I'm only going to highlight a couple of them right now. Um, you can see here that there is a um, display here of what is, says uh, power, and that is basically providing the, uh, an estimate of the overall power. Um, what's most useful with um, this display is you can also add an interactive cursor by clicking in the window. And when you do that, look in the upper right here, we have a um, value associated with the frequency as you're moving up and down. And then on the right here, it's identifying the um, dB level at that particular frequency. So as you can see, as we are moving along, the dB level is going up. Um, the second pair of numbers here are based upon identifying um, local peaks in the actual spectrum. And so this is useful if you're trying to find a, a, a very specific peak. As you slide by, it will identify that peak. And until a, a larger peak comes by, it will you see that it doesn't change. So if I'm going from right to left here, it identifies a peak. There, another peak, another peak. So it's identifying small peaks. Now, you, as I said, this is um, principally an FFT display. And um, if we, for example, slide over and now look at a vowel, uh, we can see that here we are with the harmonic structure associated with the vowel. And then up here in the higher frequencies is associated with uh, more than the noise, so we can see the harmonics are most prominent in the lower frequencies. Um, there is an actual way that you can get what's, um, um, you can switch displays from the H, which is providing you with the um, 
FFT or the harm, providing the harmonic information, you can click on what's called LP. And that gives you a what's referred to as a linear prediction coding um, spectrum. It's an LPC spectrum. And um, this is akin to what I describe in class as the spectrum envelope. So it's uh, smooth. It's providing you with where the general bands of energy are in the system and allow you to more readily identify things like the formant values. Now, when you are in the LPC spectrum, it's nice because, in, and also, or, or the FFT spectrum, that when you move around this cursor in the spectrum window, you will see that there's a small horizontal line in the spectrogram. And that's nice for identifying where you are in the spectrogram. So you can see here that as we I, um, converge on the first formant in the LPC spectrum, that there is a clearly right in the middle of where we would identify the first formant in that particular region of the spectrogram. And as we slide along, you can see, boom, there we are for the second, and the third, and the fourth formants. Now you can display both um, multiple images on the spectrum display by using this button down here called the memory key, or memory button. And what it'll do is it will record the display right now and then if you go back for example to the FFT spectrum you can see that it has both of them are displayed and this is useful for um, you know seeing for, for, for multiple displays where you are interested in both um, information perhaps about the fine structure as well as the broader pattern of uh, where the energy is concentrated across frequencies. If you need to clear out the memory you just simply click on that and it goes away. Now you can do both uh, measurements of short-term spectra as we've been seeing, but also uh, long-term average spectrum by clicking on this um, checkbox here that says LTA. And what that will do is it will generate the long-term average spectrum between two cursors. So what you can see here is what we're doing is if we could maybe set this cursor at the beginning of the speech signal and this at the end, what we're looking at here is the long-term average spectrum for that particular speech signal. Um, I had mentioned in other ones how you use the copy function to copy out information to external applications like uh, Microsoft Word. And, um, and so uh, and the other options here, I'm, I, if I bring up, I will be bringing up in, in future um, evals. But that'll give you a basic, um, simple section on how to display a uh, FFT spectrum, an LPC spectrum, and how you can look and make measurements on the spectrum, and how those measurements are also being, um, are, how, how positions are being um, identified on the cursor in the spectrum, and how that is being represented on the spectrogram. So um, hopefully this will be helpful for you when you're doing some of your um, lab activities.